morning everyone, Liliana from Vanilla and Canela here. Welcome back to my channel and to another video. So I've just had a Tesco's delivery. You saw me cart it all in and I've just organized it all so I can show you. I wanted to let you know how much I spent, which was 86 pounds, 17 pence. There was one substitution, which was potatoes. They just substituted for another bag of potatoes better more expensive so um yeah that's it so now let me show you what i got as always i'm going to start with the frozen and fridge stuff so we have some chicken breast fillet portions and some chicken thighs casserole beef and some tuna steaks that's the only stuff that i got that is frozen and then fridge and produce. I've got two things of sausages. I always get two because it's two for three pounds. I got these um, meat croquettes. These are like um, Polish. We all love them. They are so, so delicious. Try them out. Um, I also got some tortellini and tortellini. But one is sausage and ham and the other one spinach and ricotta and this was on offer for two for 250 two things of sliced cheese i got edam and gouda two for three pounds got some extra mature cheddar just a block my favorite butter and i say probably say this on ev in every single uh haul if you have a chance to buy this it is the best and it not only is it organic, the price is very, very close to lure pack. And sometimes you can get it on offer too. So two things of sh shredded cheese, mozzarella and mature cheddar, two for three pounds. Two things of ham, again, two for three pounds. Some double cream and I got some Greek yogurt with honey. So that should be nice. And then produce, I've got mango so fruit i've got mango grapes two bananas and some little easy peelers i'm the only one in this house that eats fruit so that's all for me and then i got some courgette and some mushrooms i will go to the local market and add more but i just needed stuff to keep me going until i can get to the market also got two things of eggs and a thing of potatoes. Bread-wise, I got two tiger loaves. These guys are made by Tesco's Fresh. They're £1.10. They are so much cheaper than normal bread. We love tiger bread and you can get Warburton tiger bread for one thirty-five, And there is not as many slices of bread and I will just freeze this and take out when I need. Now moving on to pantry staples. There's some chocolate here for Paul. It's 12. Two things of penny pasta. These are 20p a bag. I mean you cannot go wrong. Some olive oil, some vegetable oil and also some rapeseed oil spray. Some maple syrup. A pack of three of sweet corn, three soya milks, there's also some Barney cakes for Alex, cream crackers, there is enchilada kit, These, this is the cheesy baked, I, we have not had this in ages so I thought I would make that again, crisps for Alex, crisps for Paul, crisps for me, two things of plain flour, two things of bread flour and some frosted flakes and finally the non-grocery items but household items i've bought this tesco's lavender dreams bio detergent powder i've never tried that so i thought i'd give it a go got some method daily kitchen cleaning some luxury fabric conditioner this is pink diamond by tesco and two things of what i call toilet bleach that is it for the haul. I'm going to put it all away, bring you along with me, and then I'm going to show you how I organise everything. I know you like to see that, so let's get going.
I have some bananas that were getting quite ripe. I really don't like overly ripe bananas, so I freeze them for smoothies. So that's what I'm gonna do with that. That is gammon broth. Like I cooked some gammon yesterday, so I have some broth left. I'm gonna make some soup and use that up. And I also have some bread that is not gone bad, but it's it's not great anymore, so I'm gonna turn that into breadcrumbs. I'm about to make some soup. I told you that I had some of this, so I'm gonna put that in. And I also went through my freezer and got all the bits of veg that need to be used up. I found this, this is sweet potato mash. We really didn't like it, so I'm gonna put that into the soup. I got some spinach, some peppers. I won't use all of that, but some of it. I'm going to add some garlic and some diced onion and then I'll probably add some lentils as well. We'll see what happens. for this video. I hope you have enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next time. Bye for now.